Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alan, and welcome back to our next Final Fantasy XIV video. We're back over at the Wolves' Den, and today I thought it would be good to do a brief little video to display two of three special Allegan node mounts that you can get through the Frontline Battlegrounds. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Alright. So before we look into these mounts themselves, I do want to pop over to my achievements and just give a brief look at how you go about getting these two mounts. The first node, which is going to be our red one, and that will be the logistics system. In order to get that one, you have to get 200 wins in the PvP front lines, and this will span across any of the front lines. The second mount, which is going to be the yellow node, which is the safeguard system. For this one, you need 100 wins in frontline. So if you're going for both of these, you'll basically get them hand in hand as the wins do accumulate for both of them. Now, with that said, there is a third node, which I do not have right now. So I'm going to go over to my achievements here, and we're going to scroll down a bit until we find this one. So, this is going to be a third node, which is white with blue. Guide any of the three grand companies to a total of 100 Fields of Glory victories. So, for this node, you specifically have to get 100 wins in the Fields of Glory Shatter match, which, considering that it's on a rotation, can be a little difficult at times. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the nodes. We're going to jump into our mount guide here, and I'm going to pull up the logistics system. One of the automated system drones deployed by the Allegans to maintain and protect their strongholds. After being unearthed by the Sons of St. Koinek, the mechanical sphere was modified by Nero Tulskeva into a personal transportation device. And it is airborne and it has a low voltage effect, which emits a bright and harmless charge. It also has some flavor text. Her report also mentions a violent encounter with a sentry heavily augmented by Allegan technology from Rambros. So we're going to go ahead and pop this mount open and take a look. The text, call into battle your Allegan logistics system. For your safety and the safety of those around you, all weaponry has been disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and pop my scroll lock. So for this one, it is a red and black node, much like you would see in the Coils of Bahamut Raid series. When you jump up with it, it does split in half. And when you roll around with it, it kind of rotates at the bottom. Not only that, but you do have that low voltage action that was mentioned earlier. When you use that, it will emit three electrical charges in the area, which I thought was pretty cool. I've been wanting these Allegan nodes for a very long time. But finally, as of yesterday, I was able to get both of them. At least two of the three. The red node, as you can see, the lines are a bit dark for the details, but there is red in there. You'll notice when we go to the next node, it is quite a bit brighter. So let's go ahead and land, and we'll pop back our menu here and take a look at the yellow one. And here we have the safeguard system, which is the yellow one. One of the automated system drones deployed by the Allegans to maintain and protect their strongholds. After being unearthed by the Sons of St. Koinic, the Mechanical Sphere's processing unit was updated with the aid of Garland Ironworks engineers to improve security. And if we click on this, the system crashes. Ardashir. And this one has the same flavor text as the other one. We're going to go ahead and pop onto this one. And we're going to drop our HUD here. This is definitely my favorite out of the two. Just because the yellow detail lines do glow. It has the same voltage that the first node had. And outside of that, it is basically a yellow reskin. But the added glowing effect, I think, really helps it pop and stand out more. Definitely going to be one of my favorite mounts to use, especially being a summoner. Gotta love all those Allegan goodies. So with that, that does cover up the nodes here. 
I just thought it would be good to share this video in the event that people were not aware that these existed. And outside of being, you know, kind of RNG based, depending on when you get your frontline wins, it's still a really nice little goal to work toward if you're into PvP. The final note I would like to make is, once again, there is a third node that I do not have. Whenever I do get that, I will do a video on that one on its own. So I hope that this video was informative. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see all of you in our next video.